Yeah, yeah. chop them out gang, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are back again like we never left. Yep. Back to bring to your viewing pleasure all the very best of entertainment that you desire. On that note, happy Easter <laughs> Monday and happy holidays to you. If you're at home or you're working like us right here, wow. you don't need to worry. <laughs> we have got you covered today. Yes, sir. Yes, because my name is mm -hmm. not His Royal Highness in Slyness. Uh -huh, I don't name? go by OJ. Yeah. My name uh -huh. is Amanda Dara. And we can call you what? <laughs> Amanda Dara today. Oh, we're not singing it. Well. <laughs> eh? Anybody else apart from OJ, just support me. Yeah. At home. <laughs> and of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is Roya Ines and Splanes. I go by your name King OJ. Boy, you can call me OJ. That's where it is. It, it is, is what, what it is. is. So why do we have to sing that? It, it is it. what it is. Okay, but you cannot this say is Amanda Royal Dara. I go by the name King Goji, but you can call me OJ. That's where it is. It is what it is. So you don't need to sing it. Wow. But if you can rap it, I wouldn't mind. Yes, let's go back <laughs> to what we have planned for the show today. We'll start the show proper with a special guest who will be giving us some spoken words as regards the celebration of the resurrection of Christ. We will then be talking about what we got up to over the weekend. Check out some entertainment stories. And of course, celebrate those who were born on this day on Celebrity Birthday. Shout out. And then we'll be checking out today in entertainment history on Rewind, Man Crush Monday, and Sweet View, which will be brought to me, or rather brought to us by Simwa. We'll then be beginning the second half by showing gratitude on the Truth of segment. We'll take the news recap in case you missed it earlier. And on today's Daily Top 5, we'll be talking about tips to help you relax this Easter Monday. And of course, finally, in celebration of the resurrection of Christ, we'll be having a special cocktail mix, which will be handled by Amanda Dara. Wow, I'm singing this. <laughs> well, we'll be discussing today's True Syndrome Monday question, which is, what are you grateful for? All of this are you and grateful? more after this Because I know this weekend was bad for you. <laughs> Leave are you me. really grateful? Let's go. Why are you checking? <laughs> A brand. A brand once discovered that its product was not being bought in some places in the north. Because boldly printed on the body was the warning 18 plus. So the people left it for believers because they thought it was 18 cross. Now that's funny. But what's not funny is the truth about the fact that I, as a Christian, had never seen the cross as a plus before. So who is more conscious of the cross? They, of course. But no. No, because the point is not the cross in your head. The point is the cross on your heart. And by that, I mean not the pendant on your neck. I mean the pendant on the work of Christ on the way to Calvary. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. He went for me. He went for me. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. He died to set me free. Perhaps you were checking the keys, I'm sorry. But since Christ destroyed the door and tore the veil, I need no keys to come into his face again. So please forgive me for forgiveness is the key. But I wish this song would capture the beauty of his birth, the length of his tears on the way to Calvary, the victory of his death, and ascension to heaven to give us life eternally. I wish this song would capture the picture of Christ, the Prince of Peace, being beaten and battered, bruised, abused, accused for you. The soldiers spat at him, the people laughed at him. Kill him, kill him, they chanted. But what is his crime? He stole, he stole our hearts away. Really? So love is his crime. See, this man was innocent, yet he was ready to face your death in his prime. See, this love, this love is divine. And how better can true love be defined than a man giving himself for his friends to be abused and accused? He gave himself over on the cross so you could come over to his end. Fixed his hands to be nailed so he could hit the nail on the head and fix you once and for all. For all of us, he died. And we could never have done the life-giving kind of death, even if we tried. You see, he gave himself to death so we could have life and life in surplus. And the moment he resurrected, the devil lost all right and power to stop us. 
He wrote himself as a plus on the cross to add us back to him, the source. And so every time or the next time you say the sign cross, let it remind you that you have been added back to your source. Solar Speaks. Yes, yes, y'all. All I'm there right there. Yep. Umbrella Schmother Triumphant. And before then, we checked out um, Solar Speaks. Yes. Giving us some spoken words. Love it. I just think wish. Off key. Yeah, and it, it went off key. <laughs> yeah. To talk the about forgiveness key. is the key. Like oh. at times, at times I always feel <laughs> I can do. It. I. I I just love the way they do These it. These are yeah. the real people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> La see <-si> them. Not yeah. <laughs> the real people. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's now time for us to discuss about what we got up to over the weekend. Ladies first. Mini, money, me. Amanda, you go. Wow. Yeah. Ladies first. Are you two? You're not coming to yourself. Okay. Um, so my weekend was actually packed. Um, mm. On Friday, hmm. I was at the premiere of um, Afrobeats. Mm. We had Ayo Shonaya the yeah. other day on the show. The backstory. And I actually went there unrelated. I went there to have lunch, mm -hmm. ended up seeing Derele. Yeah. And Derele literally dragged, you. dragged me into <laughs> the hall. So I couldn't take um, video clips of, you know, obviously of the cinema hall for content purposes mm -hmm. and everything. Uh, Did but you like what you saw? I loved it. You understand? I had the trailer there, if you guys uh, have it there. And I learned a lot. Seeing, you know, Kenny and D1. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From front time jams back Bruh, in the day, man. It was, it was so young, seeing Two-Face when he just started Plantation Boys. Mm -hmm. um, it was Remedies, this, that. I, I was just like, wow, these are the people who really started mm -hmm. Afrobeat. True that, true that. Even seeing uh, Wet MC story, mm -hmm. it was so fun. Was I like the way he cut it. So um, Blackface and Two-Face were backing up Wet MC. She was performing. Wow. And they were backing her up like... Ah. <laughs> he really put that well together. I watched about one hour of it. It mm -hmm. wasn't done. Mm -hmm. And the cut of time and yeah. everything I had to leave, but I was glued. Mm -hmm. For a documentary, I thought that was well done. <laughs> um, then on Saturday, um, I was literally just watching movies all day. Mm -hmm. There was this horror movie I was watching. Uh, it's <laughs> called The Grudge. Wow. And I was watching with my friends, and every, <laughs> every two seconds, I'm like, ah! So one of female my female friend, I mean female friend. Female friend. No, okay. one female friend. Because I like all those male friends. Like, you know, <laughs> and the guy would just say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The guess who left? I had there were two friends, one female and one male. It was the male friend that left. And because I'm not doing this. I live alone. <laughs> I live alone. That's a lie. I cannot do this to you people. You will not be here with me. Wow. So we watched like half of it at his place. Then I went back to finish it in my own house. I was like, you people, what is wrong with you? I'm strong. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. <laughs> I have the to go and look for a cartoon to watch the after. Grudge. Yeah, it's yeah. super scary. Yeah. So Saturday was just movies day for me. Then Sunday, of course, I tuned into. I woke up really late. Mm -hmm. I have to say. Yeah. And it was past ten. I was like, let me just tune into church and not disgrace myself. <laughs> uh, joined in, loved the service. It was so touching. Obviously, like I was even crying. It was yeah. so touching. Yeah. And Virtual then, crying, though. No, like look, look. Uh, oh, but <laughs> they were there. Yes, no. Were... Like it was. Who was about around you? Don't leave Only, you, okay. you know. We well, now, the they now sang Reckless people. Love, you know. Ah, it's really tough. Two Face, uh, Whiskey is Reckless Love. So, wow. So, yeah. Oh, the overwhelming, yeah, because, uh, never ending. And because Whiskey reckless does. Reckless Love of God. Sorry. Whiskey does that. Reckless. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then after that, um, I went to hang out with my friends. Uh, we went to a bar, and uh, honestly, I had a good time. I was just dancing all uh, night. Is that guy single? Apparently, he is. But why are you asking about the guy? No, the girl. I said oh, that the girl, girl. single. Which one can tell me with guy now? <laughs> there was a girl that you showed just now. Oh, yeah. The girl, the girl yes, on your... Uh -huh. she is. She uh -huh. is. And she has come on the show before. Oh. Yeah, she's an actress. That, the actress. Oh, the actress. Yeah. yeah. So, and later, um, it'll be later. That was it. So it was a girl's night out, even though there was a guy to pee. <laughs> Wait, well, yeah. Chima Amanda will not be proud of that statement. <laughs> say, it, say it again with your full chest. Let's hear you. Say it again. So that they will not say, no, say so another video will not come and they will show him at the say background. It, say it. So it's a girl's night out, but it was a guy that paid. 
Uh, hey, you must see what ladies used to do. They will not put it on their Snapchat or on their story. Guys can't sit with us. We are boss ladies. Kinging, kinging. But last, last. No, I, if, what do you mean? We can pay for it. It's okay. But if somebody it's offers yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that was my weekend. How about you? Uh, I see that you're a little bit heartbroken. No. 5 2 with West Brom. How come you have not spoken about watching match? No, the crazy thing is that this weekend yeah. I decided to rest. You so said to, you didn't watch that match? Nope. Maybe I think. OJ, you don't even know how to lie. Look at how your nose is turning up. <laughs> so, quick one. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time a team beat us like this at home, at with home. that yeah, with that five shape. with that five margin. Mm. I know it's Arsenal fans that are telling you to say things. Arsenal fans that lost to Liverpool three zero. Does it matter? Liverpool but you, has been doing but giveaway. You, know you will never, Liver, you never allow Arsenal to rest. Li so today yes, now because Liverpool has been doing giveaway. Everybody is beating them. Then Liverpool now played you people and they beat you people three zero. People could never. That's not what we're talking about. Uh, well, well, let's hear what you got. The last time anybody beat us five five whatever at home, we five. ended up we, we ended up using two coaches that season, and we ended up winning the Champions League. Wow. So we are going to the bigger... There's, wow. a big, there's a bigger picture. It's only you that can turn this story around. There's okay. a bigger picture. We'll watch yeah. it. Uh, so I didn't watch it. I think that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I did a lot of resting and because I knew I was going out um, on Sunday, mm -hmm. which was yesterday. Um, I attended AY Live. How was yeah, it? Yeah, the virtual edition. Uh, it was good because it's supposed to be like a few crowds, yeah. not a lot of people. And... All the comedians that virtually got on stage were just talking about how you don't think we do comedy because of Corona. Like I uh, know, right? MC Acapella just said, "See, I will not be shy about this." During the lockdown, there was no show, there was nothing, nothing. So I will carry my phone, and I have them. I have point one, I have point two. My joke is two, three. I have jokes. So number one, <laughs> cracked the joke, and it was hilarious. <laughs> it's been a long time I attended the comedy It was show. so packed. It, uh, but Mami it starts with jokes, not yes, with yes, people. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Uh, it was supposed to be virtual, yeah, but you know, you say few people, <laughs> but yeah, some people will say attend. So I did that yesterday. It was amazing. A whole lot of comedians, a while at the virtual edition. So that's what I did over the weekend resting, watching movies, and of course, attending the comedy show. Mm. So it's just a chilled weekend for me. It's okay. just a chill weekend. I don't believe you. Nobody's, you are crying. Nobody did reckless love that was kind of in nine, 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 nine. Is it? It's the whiskey's reckless love. No. Okay, I'm done. That is a low blue. I'm, I'm just going to leave you. Yeah. That's all we can take on over the weekend, guys. We'll be back with the entertainment news. Keep it locked. Bye bye. Why well, people like us who are listening to reckless love? People like OJ are listening to Anata Angus and Agadi Lee. No, is, but is he that, was not even saying godly, he was saying odili. Oh, but it's godly, he said. So it's a godly no, song. No, the way you be singing it's it. It's a godly song. Right. Yeah. That's a Malay with godly. <laughs> it is now time for the entertainment news. Now, we were shocked over the weekend because Don Jazzy makes or made a very shocking revelation, right? Now, maybe boss Don Jazzy has shocked a lot of people as he has opened up about his relationship, stating that he got married at the age of 20 to a lady identified as Michelle and got divorced at 22. He made this known via his Instagram page where he shared his wedding picture with a caption. For so long, everyone keeps asking me, when am I getting married? Well, truth is, almost 18 years ago, I was 20 and I got married to my best friend, Michelle, as Yarn Star Switch, and it was so beautiful. I loved love and I loved marriage. Michelle is so beautiful inside and outside with such a soft heart. But then, me being so young and full of dreams, I went and blipped it up because I was giving all my time to my music. He continues, music became priority instead of my family. We got divorced when I was 22 and it hurt. I am still very much in love with my music and I wouldn't want to marry another and blip it up again. So I'm taking my time. Why am I just saying this now? I really like to keep my relationship private actually, past or present. But I was watching the Bounce interview with Ibuka, which is almost like a tell-all interview. And I felt bad skipping this huge part of my life. So yeah, make no vexu. Following this very shocking revelation and the rate at which Nigerians flooded her Instagram page with lovely messages, Don Jazzy's ex-wife Michelle Jackson took to her page sharing a picture of the Nigerian flag writing. Thank you so very much for the intense love you have shown me. Along with your beautiful messages, my inbox is flooded right now and my heart is full. I appreciate you. Thank you also to my wonderful friends and family who have been loyal all these years. Last but not the least, thank you at Don Jazzy for your kind expressions and to the rest of my extended family for keeping me under your wing and loving me just the same. 
Have a blessed Sunday. One love. Wow. Huh, um, ah! When I saw it, I was like, huh? No, so <laughs> when I saw it, I said, is this April Fool? Because I, yes. watched, I watched that bounce interview with Ebuka on Friday, a very lengthy one, by the way, over one hour, 40 something minutes. That's the first part. That's mm -hmm. the second part. I'm just done with the first part. Uh, you know, when you interview Don Jersey, people always mm -hmm. love to ask that question. So I was shocked Saturday seeing this, and I'm like, but today's not April 1st. Why is Don Jersey doing this? And he put up that picture, and on social media, we mm -hmm. kept on seeing more pictures, mm -hmm. more pictures, and people were not like, it's like this thing is true. I want to say Nigerians on social media. What? I do not hmm. know how we do it. Like everybody, because it puts a handle. Yes. People are followers right now. She Crazy. was on two thousand followers. The last time I checked, she was on thirty six k. Like how? But, yeah, what? that like, was in less than a day. But she doesn't have anything to do with Don Jazzy. This is Don Jazzy. Yes. Text. So yes. they are just there, like our former wife. You know what? Abby? You know what? Nigeria. I am totally. I feel like <laughs> she deserves that because it was a shocker to everybody. Uh -huh. And you know, this is a question that everybody is always asking. Don Jazzy, why will you marry? Uh, so they were not when like, you oh, marry? so you have been lying to us and everything. And um. I like the way he was able to reveal, you know, his past on mm -hmm. his own terms. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody had to speak his story for him. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that he owned up to his mm -hmm. part of the blame. Yeah, yeah. And they are still cordial. That is real maturity right there. In fact, when I saw the picture, I was like, no, it's not the same person. It's a prank. <laughs> I was zooming in because she has like two moves yeah. here and here. Wow, stalker. Yeah, I stalk. <laughs> <laughs> like, she didn't have these two moves. Then mm -hmm. I realized it was the other side of her face. But... Amazing. I mean, I, I like this from Don Jazzy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's right. move on. It's Let's move on. Point. Yes, DMX in critical condition following drug overdose. American rapper DMX is reportedly in critical condition after he suffered a heart attack resulting from a drug overdose on Friday night at his home around 11 p.m. According to TMZ, DMX is currently in a critical care unit of a White Plains hospital where he reportedly is exhibiting some brain activity with another source stating that he's currently in a vegetative state and doctors have cautioned he may not make it. In an official statement from DMX rep, it was confirmed that he remains in ICU in critical condition. The family of the rapper also thanked friends and fans for their prayers and support in the statement. Just so you know, DMX has long struggled with drug addiction, last checking into rehab in October 2019. According to Rough Riders NC, his problems with addiction began when he was tricked into smoking crack at the age of 14 by his mentor. And oh. it's just sad. It's crazy right now because a whole lot of fans, like I think on his wife's page, he has like 15 children by the way, or more than, yeah. Wow from last count. So intense. on his wife page, all the kids are at the hospital yeah. and a whole lot of fans have trooped to the hospital outside the hospital and they are holding Just a concert, show support. showing support, holding a concert, playing his songs and of course celebrating, hoping that it will come out of our life. It's just crazy, man. That, I mean... It... And we always talk about this drug addiction. Yeah. Drug at, the age, at the tender age of 14, to be introduced to crack and to basically be on and off it all your life. Uh, it's just what we're always talking about, that it's not something to be proud of yeah. when you think that, oh, because I'm in the entertainment field, I must, it must mm -hmm. equate into doing drugs. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people have lost their lives. Yeah. And this is very sad. It's DMX. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've heard so many things. He's possibly brain dead or not. But <sighs> it's... It's obvious that he's in critical condition. Yeah, too many conflicting ah, reports. Yeah. Some are saying he's okay now. Then yeah. his wife is saying, no, he's still there. And his wife is taking videos of people still at the hospital. So he's still at the hospital. We're just keeping we our just fingers have crossed, to, man. Yeah. It's just crazy, Sending him all the light and crazy. love and yeah. peace and prayers. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, we're moving on to another story. Rene Jean Page. Oh, yes, the Bridgerton guy. Wouldn't be returning for season two of Bridgerton. Bridgerton star actor Rene Jean Page, who acted as the Duke of Hastings, will not be returning for the season two of Netflix hit series Bridgerton. The show made the announcement via his official Instagram and Twitter page, signed by Lady Whistledown, writing, Dear readers, while all eyes turn to Lord Anthony's British quest to find a uh, Viscount, we bid adieu to Ray Rajay Jean Page, who so triumphantly played the Duke of Hastings. We'll miss Simon's presence on screen, but he'll always be a part of the Rid uh, Bridgerton family. Daphne will remain a devoted wife and sister, helping her brother navigate the upcoming social season and what he has to offer. More intrigue and romance than my readers, 
may be able to bear confirming his exit. The British Zimbabwean star took to his Instagram to write, the ride of a lifetime. It has been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be your Duke. Joining this family, not just on screen, but off screen too. Our incredibly creative and generous cast, crew, outstanding fans, it has all been beyond anything I could have imagined. Love is real and will just keep growing. Ah! What do you think happened? Uh, I don't know. Something because must have happened. But well, you're being saw... cordial about it. <laughs> I saw it on his page. No, I saw it on somebody else's page, right? And I was like, Nah, perhaps it's a rumor or something. And I kept seeing the story and I'm like, this is true. But why? Why would they do that? Well, when I think of it again, yeah, um, I realized that the story is not really around, around him. him. He's like <laughs> a but, side but, character. But do you know, okay, 100%, how many percentage of people do you know are watching this show because of him? Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, well, if you're talking about <laughs> women... 95% of women are watching the show because of him. Not just because he's a fantastic actor, but because he's really good looking. You like understand? I'm, you can't take it away from him. Mm -hmm. He's one of the most good looking people on that set. Whatever. We yeah. know what chance, so we know <laughs> here. I've been seeing a whole lot of comments of people saying, oh no, Susan, to miss me with that. I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to watch because this was the guy we were watching yeah. the show for. I'm not going to watch. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I they should have actually written him into season two, even if they didn't have plans So to. something must have happened. It might not have been. Maybe that was the original plan. How? How? When you know that virtually everybody, like you can tell, that you have a whole lot of female fan base watching this I show because, I don't know. because of this guy. But what, they are, they've always had a good relationship. You see yeah. they are behind the scenes. Well, we see they are behind the scenes, what they put out there. And it looks like they are good. So it, I don't know what could have happened. But if it's Nigeria or Africa, we'll say it's probably money. I want to see we'll what twist they're going to show. bring to it because that was the most interesting part of the you series still watch. to me. Yeah, I will. I watch episode <laughs> one. And by that episode one, there's no final guy. Movement. Me. Movement. <laughs> we move. All right. <laughs> we are done with the entertainment news. Up next, it's time for Celebrity Birthday Shout Out. First on our list in alphabetical order, we have B. Simon, who is 31 today. The American singer, actress, and comedian gained popularity and fame for her appearance on a popular show named Wild and Out. And of course, back in the day, she did 106 and Park. Yes. Of course, did a whole lot of things. Mm. YouTuber, makeup artist, entrepreneur. Where I know her from. Massive, massive, Happy massive. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, B. Simone. Also, celebrate today, we have Juicy J, who is 46. The American rapper, songwriter, record producer, and record executive is popular for songs such as Bands Make It Dance. Hey, Bands Make It Dance. Dance, yes, with Two Chains <laughs> and Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. as, well as, as well as his collaboration with Katy Perry oh, on Dark Horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the fact that he sang it, Bands Make It Dance. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we can't continue with the lyrics. We can't. Yes. <laughs> also celebrating today, we have Liz Benson, who is 55. She is a Nigerian actress, television personality, and philanthropist who has starred in various Nollywood blockbuster movies and soap operas such as Fortune's Classic, and movies such as Evil Men, Conspiracy, Diamond Ring, Dead End, Glamour Girls, and the list goes yeah. on and on. And she's still acting to even this. till now. Honestly. Yeah, she took a break to focus on the Lord, mm -hmm. but now she's acting now, um, but I think, it's, I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you already know Liz Benson. She has built her name. True and she says, I'm going to take a personal break. I'm going to come back and mm -hmm. perhaps choose my roles better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Happy birthday! Legend right there. Yup. Right also celebrated today, all the way from Ghana, Medical yeah. is 28. Yes, we have to celebrate our Ghanaian wow. brothers, brothers <laughs> and sisters. Yes, it's a Ghanaian hip-hop musician who adopted the name Medical because he was fascinated with rapping about doctors, surgeons, medical practitioners, and hospitals in general. Hmm. Yeah. I love that, actually. It's and he featured on Files, one of Files' songs, too. And he's married to a well-known um, Ghanaian actress. I can't remember her name. Yeah. Look, they have a look kid at right that. now. That's All super right. couple right there. Happy birthday, Happy Medical. Happy birthday. Also celebrated today, Mr. Patrick is a year older. <laughs> he 
is an actor, comedian, and writer who is popular for the comedy skit Pop Champagne. They're not the pop arm. <laughs> They're not the pop arm. Oh. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and he's based, he's based outside Nigeria mm. with his wife and his family. And I remember still, that still skit. You see, that's there. the thing, yeah. You can be so skilled, but sometimes people just want a good laugh. <laughs> you know, so I love that skit. And he has been doing this yeah. for a long mm -hmm. time. A yeah, long, long he time. Has. Happy birthday, Mr. Patrick. We also have celebrating today. Farrah Williams, aka the vampire, As is 48. He's an American singer, songwriter, record producer, fashion designer, and entrepreneur. Alongside close friend Chad Ugo, he formed the hip hop and RB production duo The Neptunes in the early 1990s with whom he has produced songs for various recording artists. Looking at this picture, you'll be like, Pharrell is starting to age a little bit. No, I can see it now. Now I can see, I like, can you see now. one I line, like, I swear, I what? I can now. He should have started a skincare line. I know he has, like, yeah, a jean is. line. I think, I think, he did. I think they tried oh, something. That makes sense, because I, I know he had a, a clothing line yeah. at first, and he's all just super ever young. Creative, super, super creative, super creative person. And, happy of course, birthday. happy birthday to everybody celebrating on this special day, mm -hmm. on Easter Monday. Ah, he has very special look. He what? arose, he reason, he this. Ah, on Twitter. I send you love. Social media. I send you love and light. Blessing <laughs> be unto you. He has aroused today. Yeah. <laughs> all right, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Wishing you all the best. I mean, you are celebrating a very, very, on a very, very, very good day. He resigned. He resigned. <laughs> May you be a reason with love. Yeah. Wow. Let me just send you kisses. The one I know. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next, our Rewind and Man Crush Monday. Take a look. Watch, 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 watch this. Let's rewind. On this day, 1965, the 37th Academy Awards, My Fair Lady, Rex Harrison, and Julie Andrews win awards. And in 2009, still on this day at the 44th Academy of Country Music Awards, Carrie Underwood and Brad Paisley win. Finally, in 2016, still on this day, One Dance was a single released by Drake. It went on to win the Billboard Song of the Year. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. It's Man Crush Monday, and today we're crushing on Nathaniel Bassi. Nathaniel Bassi is a gospel artist who developed a love for both music and the gospel. Pastor Nat, as is fondly called, got an interest for jazz music and began listening, imitating and playing to the music of Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, Clifford Brown, Charlie Packer, amongst many others, before joining a top jazz quartet in Lagos, where he played alongside his childhood friends. His peculiar and particularly soulful trumpet playing style caught the ears of top artists and composers within and outside the country. And as time passed, Nathaniel began realizing that there was more to his music than he thought. His debut album, Elohim, was recorded and mixed in the year 2008, and it was described as a spiritual and artistic masterpiece with the hit track, Someone's Knocking at the Door. Ever since Pastor Nat has gone on to release four other albums with songs like Onishe Yanu, Imela, Olowo Gogoro, Olonra Baye, amongst many others. Now here are five things you may not know about P. Nat. I have paid the price. He is a graduate of politics and international relations from the University of London. He has attended music courses in and out of the country studying popular music and music business. He writes, sings and produces his own music and records with diverse groups of musicians. He also serves as the director of music at his current place of worship. Pastor Nat's passion for music grew and translated into various musical experiences after getting inspired by Dr. Panam Percy Paul, a prominent Nigerian gospel music icon. Now all this and more reasons we love Nathaniel Bassi and he is our man crush today. 
Vasi right there. Love, love, love him. Oh. All in celebration of the season. Of course. Mm -hmm. And who better than yeah. Nathan Obasi? Always if, giving if, us, putting us in our spiritual vibe. Even whiskey, you know? be... All right, guys, it is time for a sweet view <laughs> before this one make me lose focus, where we talk about all these crazy things that happen on social media. Let us begin. Gang, gang. I don't know where you are. If you're not watching the show, if you're not watching Entertainment News, we talked about this one. Wow. Don Jazzy was trending on Twitter the other day. Uh, so this first tweet says, I am still trying to understand this at John Jazzy, right? Now, the same woman be this. Bro, Don Jazzy did not go and marry her again. See, you know I said it. Yeah, really yeah. I was look at like, it's not the same woman. Like, not, actually, I actually went on her page. Really yeah, I actually went on her page. I said, uh-uh. <laughs> okay, it's possible people just grow and no, grow I, at I, the I end. I took two all her Everything. pictures. Like, wow. For 18 years, two is a long time. Yeah. She had the glow so effect. Yeah. <laughs> so all of you saying she got married again. She, I, I think she, she has a kid oh. now and she's... She has moved on. Yeah, she has moved on. Even he too. He's still looking for Rihanna. No, no Jazzy's still focused on his music career. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? Men. Anyways, moving on. Mm. We'll come okay, back to we're going to come back to Don Jazzy. <laughs> hey. right? Let's just move quickly to this one. To those who bleach their skin, if on Judgment Day your face doesn't match the one on Eager, Angel Gabriel's laptop, please don't argue or delay us in the queue. Just go to hell. Aha. Wow. Please, I think OJ should have said this thing. Who is, who is on this list? So say that it's a woman that is talking. Who is on this How list? Will you, Amanda, why will you be bringing us something like this? <laughs> so, who, I've seen on social media. So who, who do you think is on this list? Who do I? Who do you think is on this list? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's organic. I used to do. Me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say anything. Yeah. Mm. Let's just yeah. move on. Yeah. All right. Denise is saying, what is the difference between trek and walk? Hmm. Right. Idris now replied her, walk na choice. Hmm. Trek <laughs> na by force. The other quarter quarter of them all is waka. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm guessing it's like legit. It is true. Because, I mean, because I'm, I'm, I'm going for a walk. When you're in some neighborhoods, you I'm know, going for the a rich walk. people are like, I'm going for a walk, and I'm going for a, a short yeah, jog, yeah. a sprint. Well, you know? I want, I did trek from here to Yanapaja. You know, I'm going for a trek. Yeah. No. I did <laughs> trek from here to Yanapaja. Because even when I call my sister, where are yeah. you? I'm trekking down to the office, man. Yeah. Then she'll come, you see sweat. <laughs> After a trek, you have to see, then yeah. waka means that the you, you don't even know. have money to take keke or bike. Yeah. So you went all the way from Yaba to VI. <laughs> People they run out. You did marathon. <laughs> Hungry too. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Wow. People I'm so are, sorry. People are crazy, man. People are crazy. Table shaker is saying, imagine you're crying at a funeral and someone passes by with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You know? <laughs> Wait. So oh God. Okay, we will actually laugh. I will laugh. I will not lie to you. Man. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know when you are grieving, you don't know how to express yourself. There's nothing I can do but to laugh. Because and it should, it should not be that wicked auntie. I'll be one wicked <laughs> uncle that you, have, that you have put in your mind. You know? <laughs> okay, lost focus briefly. Yeah, so everybody will laugh. So everybody will actually Sadly. laugh. Sadly. Maybe the person did it on purpose. Sadly. So Tech Radar, right, says Apple Watch 7 might respond to your breath. Who the breath? He choked. Then Afro Hacker now said, Hey, Siri. Then Siri now reply, Go and brush your teeth first, please. Ha. Ha. So, yeah. so the thing is, I have an Apple Watch here, right? You and if I go, Hey, Siri. I'm on my turn. <laughs> Siri, don't disgrace Amanda. No. Anyways, the phone is off, right? It's on flight mood. Whatever. So I will now open it like this. Like, hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hi, Amanda. You have not brushed today. <laughs> I'm done with y'all. I'm done with you guys. Fayakumi says, send funds to console me. This Jesus dead pain me. <laughs> if we're not serious. You people are not serious. But he died for us. So, and you still, the one that and he died I, for us is I, not I, enough. And I'm still paying. He died for your sins. You still yeah. want funds. So, please, I'm sad. These are the people Jesus died for. That somebody came to die hey. for me. Hey. So, send funds, please. Ah. Console me ah. with small okay. things. Well, I've moved back to the Don Jazzy gist, mm -hmm. right? So, <laughs> this is actually a picture of the wedding, right? Yeah, that's Soleg. Have... That's Soleg. That's Don wow. Jazzy's younger brother, Don Jazzy's father, Don Jazzy's mother, Don Jazzy and his ex wife. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And Omoni Ina says, The band and one day knew about Don Jazzy's marriage and they still kept it top secret even after their split. Massive respect. 
if now musicians of nowadays now for lyrics to go here and so 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 true that man yeah mm -hmm. e, e, e. you know the band just one song if you know what I know, <laughs> you go no, like me. Oh. No, nah. Don't no, you no, think no, you wanted no. to spill? I don't think so. But I you must, I, yeah, you must give it. You must give it to them. Like even with mm -hmm. the whole issue yes. that surrounded the, uh, the solution the of more hits and everything, nobody went through mm. that because you, you have not this guys. Is it not this one that was married before? <laughs> oh yeah, Insta block. Take this. <laughs> Take this, yeah. <laughs> they tried. They tried. What's the one that uh, Jada Pinkett Smith? What's Entanglement. That? Uh -huh. Entanglement yeah. music video. The, therefore, don't really. cast everything. If this is what you should learn from. Yeah. Stop. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Anyways, Mimi says, Don Jazzy's ex got 20k plus followers in four hours. Nigerians <laughs> are coming. <laughs> yeah. People are like this. <laughs> Nobody. Nigerians on Don Jazzy's ex. -ID. We are going there. We are going there. To the Holy Bible with, and with every, a mission. Everybody went there. The, Amanda did. I did. I did. I would not but like did you follow to. her? But no, is I it, not follow is her. Is it that following her that? So, ah, hello. We are here. Ah, our, our family. Ex -o. Yeah, whoa, hey, how are you doing? We are sorry. Uh, we are I sorry. I some tweets. Uh, Okada dropped me here. Ha, I've arrived. I'm here. <laughs> we are sorry for Don Jazzy. You know, ah. right now it's a big star in Nigeria. Eh. Uh, we are sorry. We are Somebody sorry. even had the guts to say that you should have been more patient and forgiving. Because now, look at he has earned the fruits or something, something about ah. it. I was just like, Niger what? Niger 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 People don't have. <laughs> See, I don't even know. Nigerians are a special breed. You are not advising like, her. Where am I born? Ah. Like, what are a lot of you doing there now? The fact that he kept the secret 18 years, after the 18 years, he now came to be open and to be giving marital advice. Oh, hey! hey. <laughs> you put... Uh, no, all right. All right, another picture from the trending wedding, right? So, Don Jazzy left his marriage to focus on his dream. Hmm. Elon Musk is still single. Hmm. More or less, he's stay away from the female gender if he wants to make her fast. Amanda, read it from outside, oh, loud it, loud it. We want to hear you from the back of the studio. This is one person's opinion. We want to hear And even at the end of the so day... the richest man, one of the richest looking, men, one of the richest looking. men in the world, you Elon Musk, it. so he's focused on tech, uh -huh. focused on the money. Uh -huh. Look at Don Jazzy, big superstar. Uh -huh. Yeah, then because... What do you, when you're in your bed, you sleep with your money beside you, or what? You still need a woman, forget. You can run, you can run <laughs> it. You, uh, can, you can Even Dan Gote, Shabu, we still saw yeah, <laughs> something the other day. Yeah, and he's the richest mama. He's still with you. See him. Mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. the babe. Okay. I beg you, cannot do without us. <laughs> and like, wash <laughs> and rinse. So even mm -hmm. Corey Bello didn't know that before he sang the song. Oh, of God, Don Jazzy. When, when you go marry. <laughs> wow. Um, hmm. I think Corey Bello should actually tweet something about this. I'd be like, like ah, I boss, it's a, it's, are you allowing me to sing this thing? It's, it's only Dr. Sid that commented, like, finally, yeah. we can you, uh, yeah. give a sigh of oh, relief that everybody knows. That. Some people everybody are now for me. Oh, my God. I knew. Uh, yeah. It's Liars. been so hard to keep this. Liars. Who be you? Who you be? <laughs> 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 all right, is that all we can take? Okay, we still have a couple more. And this one is from Ayan Kwetu. He says, teacher, what comes after E? Me, F. Teacher, so why did you write choke? Oh, he choke. <laughs> yeah, this is what this is what we happen in the future. See, the way things are going the way now. Things are going. A, B, C, D. I was still e, watching. Choke. <laughs> still what people are teaching children of nowadays. <laughs> we cannot blame them. Mm -hmm. The video is the cause of this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> and then whiskey did what? It don't spoil. He does. Oh God. <laughs> I was watching, watching the Funke Akidele's um, post, mm -hmm. and she put the little thing from um, Jennifer's diaries, and she was asking the woman, like, ah, you feel slashy? And I said, no, ma'am, it's natural. <laughs> <laughs> and I was natural. <laughs> See, English, people are just going to fail it. This generation, not seeing ah. like that. Oh, wow, we are done. that's we are all we can take on Tweetville. All right, today. we are done, ladies mm. and gentlemen. It's a wrap on Tweetville for oh. today. Still to come. Our True Central Monday question is this, in case you missed it earlier. What are you grateful for? Yep. You can send your responses to us on Twitter, Facebook, we are TBC Connect with the hashtag eSplash on TBC. We will be back. Let's go.
happy Easter once again. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It is now time to chew it up where one of us will tell the house what he or she is currently grateful for because today is Monday and then it's also Easter Monday. Yeah. So how can we be ranting? How dare we <laughs> be ungrateful? So what am I grateful for? <laughs> because this goes very cliche. I'm grateful for God. I'm, I'm grateful for um, Jesus Christ. I told you about the service I watched yesterday. And um, I kept thinking about... Crying. Yes. And why it was so emotional to me is that I see that um, when we celebrate love, Valentine's Day, even Christmas, yeah, we, we keep saying, remember the reason for the season. <laughs> but some girls will say, my man did not buy me Christmas gifts. Are yeah. you the reason for the season? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So it was just bringing back the focus to the fact that you're here today, you're alive, you're well. Somebody has done this great unconditional thing for you, this act of service for you. And you are bothered about one human being that you know hasn't given you love, one job that hasn't done this for you. But you take that greatest gr mm -hmm. gift for granted. And I think um, that's one thing that was supposed to be reflecting on mm -hmm. on a day mm -hmm. like today, mm -hmm. the fact that um, you know, Jesus Christ came and mm -hmm. died for our sins. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm grateful for, to be able to be reminded of that. And um, when I listened to that reckless love song, like I said that you earlier, cried. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I cried. Why, why so shocked? Nah. I cried too. Nah, wow. I know I'm not that hard though. <laughs> <laughs> and when I listened to it, it was just like, truly, truly, God's love is overwhelming. It's ever there. Even when you do, and I think the, 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 the reason why a lot of us find it difficult to run back to God is you feel like, all oh, these things that have come Committed, I'm, I'm ashamed, but to know that regardless of that, there is someone, there is a not someone, preach, there is a Amanda. God that loves you. I'll, ah. not, I'll not give you tight, child. Ah. If that's, that's what you want. Well, well, like. <laughs> you will not call them my tight. What about offering? Uh, no offering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm grateful for today. Amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. It's the reason for the season, so yeah, you'll be all right. you rich. You rich, you rich, you rich today, today okay. grateful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, a quick recap of all that you might have missed in the news today. Yes, we told you that Don Jazzy made a shocking revelation. And of course, we talked about this one, DMX in critical condition following drug overdose. So sad. And we told you that Rene Jean Page wouldn't be returning for season two of Bridgerton. And, and, there, were, and there were a lot of ladies who will be returning I can't too. believe I won't be swooning again. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, that's all we can take on Entertainment <laughs> News Recap. Daily Top 5 is up next. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the show. From now to the end of the show, we'll be playing those gospel music for y'all that Hallelujah. are celebrating today. Uh, yeah. Praise God. Mm. I really want to see Amanda cry, though. <laughs> just from there, wow. singing one of the songs and Yee. just... Right. Go. Not today. <laughs> okay, let's talk about something else. Today is the day Jesus resurrected, and in as much as we are in the mood to celebrate, we should remember it is the beginning of the week, meaning mm. today might be a public holiday, but tomorrow is a school day or work day, and you don't want to get into Tuesday tired or worse, hungover. Wow. So today, we'll be giving you five tips to help you relax this Easter Monday. This is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Watch me. Number one, explore your surroundings. Yes, take out time to go out for a walk or bike around uh, your neighborhood and explore different areas. You can do this with your loved ones or even your family members. Yes, too. Note is walk. Not trek. Not trek. Or waka. Or waka. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chilled, and not in the hot afternoon sun in the yeah, evening. Yeah. If you have a pet, you can take your pet along. If you don't have a pet, you can go on your you know own. There's some pets that you cannot take care of. Like, like that. some, yeah, some aggressive pets. <laughs> Bingo is different from huh? <laughs> Bailey. Now, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's two different things. But yeah, walks are really, really nice. Mm -hmm. I've missed it. Mm -hmm. I remember being in union, I used to take walks with guys. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, they, are the yeah, they are toasting you. They are toasting you. Okay. Mm. Hey, and that was the thing right there. Let's go and we just call it docassing. Shout out mm. to Babcock um, yeah. alumni. That's and one. then we'll go around the whole school. And the guy will just tell you sweet nothings and rubbish. So maybe just go with a family member, yeah. right? Uh, I I, I yeah. do I do this virtually every time that I have the time. And I do mine like really, 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 really late. 
plural? Yeah. Like I'm past tense. I'm nocturnal. Past tense. I say really, 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 really. Wow. I'm nocturnal like that. Yeah. <laughs> like 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The second tip on our list is sometimes you just need to what? Chill. Chill. Don't do any cleaning or worry about the laundry for at least one whole day. Because Relax. work is starting tomorrow. Yeah, I have a particular friend. I think OJ is like that, but I haven't seen him. Um, then I was having lunch on Sunday, and he was just like, please be careful. Don't let the rice spill on the floor. Oh, when yeah. I take stuff yet, oh, yeah, put it here. Stop, when stop, the, the oil, stop, when stop. I put it together. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And there's a little drip of ice cream. Yeah. Like, Calm down now. No, we can't Like, you can't even calm. enjoy the food, because for half the time, I was counting the rice grains. As it be. And because, I was, when, <laughs> because when you people finish, you will not end up cleaning. And, and that was another thing. As soon as he was finished, next thing, shoo, 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 yes, washing plate. It's nice, but like yeah. on a holiday, okay. you're allowed just okay. one day. Okay. Chill, relax. That's all. <laughs> all right. Number three, exercise the brain by playing some fun games. Yes, games such as cards, board games, not only exercises the brain, but also gives you the time to bond with your family or friends. What's your favorite, um, favorite game to play? Are you? For real? I can play Are you? and I can beat <laughs> Anybody, <laughs> anywhere. Ah, it's been a what long other time. Game? I like Monopoly. I do not I, know how to play that ah, game. I do not know why. I love it. That I was wish, the time I, I told I you can. that I would not say, okay, if I win this yeah, and that. Yeah. And then I love Scrabble. I. Scrabble. Are you? Scrabble. Then obviously, normal. Back, was back in the day, we used to use Scrabble mm. to win. Thank God, it's not good to bet, cha. But we bet, we bet. That's where we make mm -hmm. our transfer money from. Wow. You see men. You see big, you see big men words. cramming dictionary. What's it happen? Ah, we 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 go play for evening. Then this word does not exist. <laughs> eh, you think it doesn't exist? Oh yeah, check. check. <laughs> yeah, so play games, okay? Mm -hmm. um, fourth tip on our list is do not cook. Yes, take a break from the kitchen. Will you? All right? And just other takeaway, it would just be like room service. You can choose a local restaurant offering home delivery, and the only washing up will be the plates and cutlery. We know if they wash the plates, we'll, lazy, we'll chow it from the plate. We'll chow it from the plate. And they have their own cutlery. And it's a plastic cutlery. Yeah. You can't throw everything away. <laughs> Forget. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think this one is also really nice, especially because, um, uh, you know, sometimes they're too over mm -hmm. Like, ah, this food now is 3K. I for don't buy one kilo talking before tomato onions before. pepper i go blend them before. i will do one kilo like it could have made one soup uh, it's i get it nigeria is hard yeah but it's just like one day in a holiday because yeah. we're all stressed mm -hmm. if you check your mm -hmm. high blood pressure if you check you see that you're actually very stressed sure. just Allow yourself these little, little things once in a while. Mm -hmm. Not all the time because you get broke, Sha. But yeah, right. once in a while. <laughs> Lastly, reflect. Yes, consider this one uh, a day before the week gets busy. A day of reflection. A day you can use to analyze your week so that it becomes very productive. Wow. To just sit down. Okay, yes. It's so that's necessary. Happened. Tomorrow is work. What's happening next? Because some people were on holiday since Friday. Mm. We came to work. Saturday, Sunday. Today, Monday, again, people are still chilling. In case you and know, also because you, 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 you find out that you again. are getting yourself into a rut, mm -hmm. right? You are doing the same thing every single day, sometimes lazier than the day before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you just find out that what, have, what am I really doing? What mm -hmm. am I really achieving? And because you're used to doing the same thing, you're even like you're tired when you have free time. So when you reflect that, I told myself that this year is my year of 10 times better. It's yeah. my year. Of, what have you done? Because we are after April. You don't like uh, December, don't Wait, reach. Is it April already? Yeah, it's April. Stop. Don't 5th do, of April. Don't do this motivation here. Yeah. How, how are you? Are those your new year, new me plans going? We're on it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that is on Daily Top 5. We'll be back shortly with True Syndrome Monday and Amanda. We'll be getting ready to prepare mm -hmm. a special cocktail for us to celebrate the resurrection of Christ on this Easter Monday. Ooh. All of this after this time out. Let's yes. enjoy some more gospel music. Let's go. Yes, we hope you guys at home, you Christians at home, are enjoying um, your Easter um, Monday yeah. with the songs that we're playing. What can I for who are you, OJ? Because I know who I am. <laughs> this is Royal Highness Planets. <laughs> I go by name King OJ, but you can call me OJ. That's what it is. It is what it is. That's nice who one. I am. Nice, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Amanda, All right. special. Hmm. 
So, uh -huh. I don't what even I, know why. What, I'm just loving OJ today. What are you preparing for us today? You know, you did one when we started the love the of New Christ. Year. Yeah. So today, yeah, uh -huh. I'm going to be preparing something I would call a mixed fruit virgin mojito. Virgin. Are you scared? Why? It's a virgin. Yes, no. <laughs> Why? Okay, yeah. Why did <laughs> Bad mind. So I'm going to just start off by preparing the glasses, right? Because mm -hmm. we want it to be nice and cold. So oh, I'm going sure. to put some ice. Yeah. yeah, so when we went to the break, we actually washed the glasses because Corona. Corona is still outside. It's still outside. So, so this is clean. Please use yeah, clean glasses. Corona is still outside. Um, I saw, <laughs> I saw um, Davido and Co. They had like a concert in the nature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, hmm. Let's just leave it there. Yeah. It's like it used to come out after 12. We go, we go, <laughs> we go and leave it like that. But luckily, that. you're doing vaccinations now. Mm. So get yours. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. again, again. so I've put enough ice. Then what I'm going to do after mm -hmm. is I'm going to put my lemon, which we have washed. Hmm. Is this ice enough? Me, I like ice. Do you want some more ice? Did they did better for I medicine. Did, I did took my ice. Hmm. Huh. That yeah. When you buy uh, pure water, you will now freeze it. Yeah. People are looking at Amanda like, you know, you, like did, did, you, did you ever drink pure water? Did, did you drink ice Thank water? God we don't look did you, like... Did you drink ice I, water? I did not. My mom, <laughs> my mom won't have allowed me, but I did take pure water. Yeah. So yeah. then I'm cutting my lemon, mm -hmm. right? And, um... Okay. Oh, she. I'm just going to do two slices. What's, what's, what's this one for? I'm going to use these ones as, as garnish, so that's the last thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just oh. going to cut it like this. So remember when we used to do these segments now? They taught us garnish and garbage. Wow, Amanda has learned a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like I'll open this business, uh -uh. then Amanda, I'll cut it like this. Yeah, I see you already. Don't <laughs> enter this one again and swear. <laughs> Why not for other people. Serial entrepreneur. So. <laughs> so I'm going to cut my lemon into wedges. This lemon, yeah. And, and then. Why are you designing it? I'm cutting it into wedges. That's what I'm doing with a knife. When would like this, sharp. And when would this drink be ready? Soon, soon, soon. Under. So I'm putting the lemon wedges. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. And what then... One is the bigger one? Yeah, it's the bigger one. Uh -huh. Should I add extra for you? It's okay. Let me add extra for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to just put... This is um, actually mint leaf, right? Mm -hmm. So I like mint leaf. What does this me. one do? It's the taste. It gives you that mint taste. So I'm just going to put it there. Yeah. So... Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a quick break. And when we come back, this process continues. Amanda making a special cocktail for us yep. in celebration of Easter. Ooh. And when we come back, we'll be digging in proper into our True Syndrome Monday question. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, yes, yeah. Amanda with the special <laughs> Easter cocktail. It's only on special ah. occasions Amanda will do all this. Yes, thing. now can be nice every day. We don't appreciate it. All oh, these men. Whatever. It's little, little doses. Whatever. So, in, in case you guys are wondering, <laughs> we're still talking about our True Syndrome Monday question. Or we're about to start our True Syndrome Monday question. Mm -hmm. And the question we're asking today, Amanda started it already. And because today is Monday and because of the reason for the season, yep. what are I'm you grateful, grateful for? for? Amanda, do you have another one? Aside is the one no, you said I don't. earlier. You, uh, you tell me yours. Uh, I'll so be I have to say, I'm grateful for the kind of the fans we have watching the show. Yes. Yeah, amazing fans. Mm -hmm. And when I say amazing fans, I'm talking about people that watch the show, people that reach out to us on social, social media. media. Is it YouTube? Is it Instagram? Is it Facebook? Is it Twitter? We appreciate you guys for you guys always are the best. watching. You guys yeah. are the best. Uh, we do this. It's one thing doing this and. You can imagine people are not watching. Yeah, after. just talk it to yourself. Uh, but when you're when you are watching, it's not that you will still taste this special cocktail. Oh, it's for limited. Wait, it's for just limited. Just tell text. me if I should start this business. Just you no know, Mandy, Mandy mocktails. Ma Mandy tail. Mandy tail. No. Wow. Yeah. So, Mandy tails. <laughs> so okay. I appreciate. We appreciate you guys always watching the show. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday Friday. Friday. We are grateful for people like And even watching you. the recap again. And watching the recap. Wow. And of course, even going online and still and watching, watching it and still YouTube. commenting. We appreciate you guys. You guys are we the appreciate real MVP. You guys. So, okay. my details. So, this thing, it uh -huh. was, um, <laughs> will I say marinating now? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> it was setting. It's chilling. It was chilling. That's okay. the word. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, we're still learning this occupation. Yeah. So, this is orange juice, mm -hmm. right? This is soda water, mm -hmm. and this is black currant. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, wait, why the choice of black currant? Because we call it mixed fruit virgin mojito. So where, I, where is the virgin? Yeah. The, it's because there's no alcohol in it. 
Okay. Yeah, and that's why I say virgin. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to put more of orange juice because I'm an orange juice lover. Do you like orange juice? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I put more orange juice. So why are you pouring it here? It's because I want to mix it. Oh. So this is soda water, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I can check up on OJ if he's fine tomorrow. No, it's Amanda. It's Amanda <laughs> Tales. It's Mandy Tales. <laughs> so this is soda water. Mandy Tales are good. Just a little bit. This is to give you that, um, you know, bubbly effect. Oh, shit. Right? You can see the bubbles. Fizzy drink effect. Oh, shit. Then this is the black currant. Uh -huh. Is there like a quantity for each? Um, uh, as your heart. <laughs> as the spirit as, leads. As the spirit leads. <laughs> because he arose, he resigned. Okay, resigned. but he let's try, that. Sha. You just put an equal, equal um, quantity of mm -hmm. currant and soda water mm -hmm. and more of orange juice. Because the bottle is big, it doesn't look like yeah. I put more. And then I'll stir it. Okay. That's all. It's so easy. Like, such an easy thing to do. Uh, so, remember we had uh, ice and lemon with mint leaf. Gen -gen. I'm just going to pour it. Yeah. Uh -uh. It's even looking fine, though. Yeah, the current color. Yeah. Where's my own? <laughs> and this one. Yeah. I'm not done, though. What's that? Be patient. Eh? When Jesus Christ was dying for you, why are you rushing? Wow, that's <laughs> what you <laughs> say. <laughs> so remember I was talking about my garnish and oh, my... Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll use this to... This is just part of the lemon, right? Mm -hmm. And then this. Oh, say my details! Yay! What do I call it? Mixed fruits, virgin, mojito. So if I put on that in a I can... If I put on that in I can this virgin be drained. Oh, wait, sorry, we need straws. Okay. So pick your straw. Uh, mini man, no, it has to be yellow. No. How do you yeah. use pink straw? Okay, then now. Wait till they really occur. What's wrong with pink straw? <laughs> wait till wait, wait, they really occur. <laughs> Should I drink? Sure, drink. Okay. Drink and tell me what you think about it. Hmm? Mandy Tail! Uh-uh, Mado. Hmm. Mm. Exciting. <laughs> let, me, let me do all those adverts. <laughs> Delicious. They have soothing voice. Mm. Scintillating. Mm. It hits the <laughs> brain in the right proportion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Yes, we'll be finding out from you guys. IBK was on the street to find out what people are currently grateful for. So we'll go check this out and we'll continue our True Syndrome Monday conversation. Let's go. I'm grateful for my family, my loved ones, and those who stood by me when I'm in need or in troubles. And First of all, I want to thank God for life. I want to thank God for family, for health, uh, for everything that God has committed into my hands. So all glory to God. Even though the economy is uh, it's not really uh, conducive, but we thank God for the gift of life. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for my admission that I just gained. Yeah. This time is, is a time where so many things are happening. But we thank God for life. You know, the economic situation, the security situation, the, even the virus. So many things are happening. So it's just a time to be grateful to God. You see, throughout last year, uh, there was an outbreak of coronavirus. And even thankfully, I had my first child during that corona, uh, corona pandemic, so I was so happy. Nothing happened to the child, nothing happened to, to my wife and even my, myself. So I'm so grateful to God for that. I'm grateful being alive with the family, with the, the federal government of Nigeria and Lagos State in general. I'm grateful for God giving me the gift of life for family, for friends, for well-wishers for relationships, for my career, for my job, and every other thing good life has to offer. Yes, that's your... Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We said uh, we have a whole lot of yes. reactions right here on social media. And you know we appreciate you guys. You guys always come through. On Facebook, we have Grace Richard, who is saying, Good afternoon to the house. Well, I'm grateful for life. 
the reason we are all alive today is because of the sacrifice Christ made over 2,000 years ago. Yep. Hashtag grateful for life. Hashtag Easter Monday. Mm -hmm. Flawless blazes. Good afternoon, guys. I'm currently grateful for people around me, my family, especially because even though we sometimes fight, yeah, yeah. we all know, <laughs> I'm still grateful that I have a family because not everyone as one that I'm not making fun of them, but I'm mostly grateful for family. Mem Soma Chuku Favor says, um, Good day, guys. I'm really grateful for life and God's grace. I mean, not everyone gets out of secondary school without an ugly story. I thank God for leading me through school without any ugly story and making my family proud. That hey! is so nice. I love that. That's what you go. How many A's? That. How many A's did you get? <laughs> you have to ask because yeah. <laughs> graduating from secondary school is actually a big deal. All right, all over to Twitter. Debbie mm -hmm. Josh says, Happy New Week and Easter, guys. Happy I'm extremely week. grateful for my mom. She's my friend, my sister, my role model, and mentor. I love her a lot and she doesn't hesitate to show how much she loves me as well. Aww. I pray God blesses and keeps her for me. Amen. Also, I'm grateful for you guys and you guys are the best gang. Thank oh, you. Thank you. That is so sweet. We have Starchi at Chinedu 0375729. Now what for you? <laughs> Anyways, honestly, I'm just grateful for the little things that God has been doing for us. You know, we live in a time where people dwell on the bad and forget all the good that's sure. around us. Sure. I'm grateful that I can see these little things I've been blessed with and be a partaker of so much. Uh-uh, Oshie. -uh, mm -hmm. We'll collect tight after all of this. <laughs> tight and offering. Yeah, so um, I have another one from Twitter. Grant Eduvier says, Hi, I really fancy your show. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yes, I'm grateful for good health beyond measures. Uh -huh. mm. All right. Um, on Facebook, T. Wilson. I don't know, T. Wilson uh, is a protege. And he has a picture of an wow. Indian man. He's on a, his okay, profile. your fan page. Yeah. He has, said it so casually. He, he, he has a picture of an Indian <laughs> man. Protege. Let, let's see your real face now. And he's saying, good afternoon, family. Leave me alone, Amanda. Hey! I'm forever grateful for family <laughs> and friends. And as usual, we put protege here. Hashtag True Syndrome Monday. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, wow. um, still on Facebook, he has Nimat Oiza says, I'm grateful to God for keeping me alive to witness this day of your message in the end. Oh, um, okay. YJ Da says, good afternoon, guys. I'm grateful for life and my family that I did not lose anyone among them. King OJ, there's someone using your name on Facebook and he wants to scam me. Ha! He told me to send his account number so I will send money to him. Hey! It's not me, oh! <laughs> It's, it's not, not you. Any King OJ ah. on Facebook. Yes, yeah, somebody mm -hmm. sent this message to me on Twitter. Anybody that is using King OJ on Twitter, I think, please, feel free to report that page. After the person told yes. me, I started reporting I the page. So, so please help me to report that page. That mm -hmm. is not me. King OJ on mm -hmm. Facebook, report that page. Thank you very much. Okay, mm -hmm. I think we still have. Can I take some from mm -hmm. Twitter? Melvin says, I'm grateful to be breathing the free air from Jehovah, mm -hmm. and I'm grateful to have good health. It's priceless. So yeah, I'm super grateful. We have How a caller. Mm -hmm. Olamide, all the way from Akure. Hello. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Happy Easter Monday. Thank you. <laughs> so what are you grateful for? Well, I'm grateful that Jesus Christ died for me and right. every member of my family. And I'm grateful to God for the family I have. They've been so wonderful. They've been mm. supportive. Mm. And I'm also thank I'm thanking God for a life. Because if I'm not alive, my parents will be in a bad mood and all that. So yeah. I'm grateful to God being the source of everything. Mm. And I'm also grateful for TVC. I love all of you guys for a wonderful job that you guys do every yes. day. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. All, day, all the way from that Akure. So I, I wanted so to say, come and pay your offering, but Me, because... Akure is my second host, Samu, so... Because you know, we'll go there, go there, walk, they come back. <laughs> you can tell me the location. Thank you so much for calling. All right. Uh, on Facebook, Pra Isa is saying, I'm grateful for everything. I thank God for good health. I know God is preparing something good for me. Yeah. And it says, OJ, I'm coming to steal your sunglasses. Yeah. It's recommended, though. <laughs> Right there. Life. It's, it's not recommended anything. Leave me now. Nah. When did you start having an issue? Yeah. Shukura Sadiq says, I am plus one today. Grateful to God for Woo! life. He splashed him. Wish me a happy birthday. I love you all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Shukura Sadiq. We are bloody kisses. <laughs> From me, it's peace. In all the Middle right. East. Yeah. <laughs> so Sam Mide says, I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful because Jesus died for my sins. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful because I will still sin and I will still be forgiven. <laughs> Who 
Where are you? My guy. You say you still you are grateful because you will still sing. You open your mouth, the trumpet now sound now. What do you say? Is it your trumpet? Yeah. Is it your trumpet? <laughs> do not do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a quick break and when we come back, True Syndrome Monday continues. Let's go. This was another song that you yeah, can dance for yeah, little song too. Yeah, Moses Bliss now. He's always giving us good, good vibe. Yeah. So can bless it. One day I messaged him, right, on Instagram. I was just like, hi, I like your music. And he responded. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is, it, is it Drake? <laughs> is it? Okay, yeah, sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Hey. To... Uh -huh. Moving hey. on. We're asking what are you grateful for? And of course, we have a whole lot of what? reactions on social media. Shout out to you guys every day, all day. Um, Stephanie Sunday says, hi, OJ. Uh, hi uh -huh. to you too. So I'm not here. Let, 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 let her finish now. She still continues. What she say? Hello, pretty looking Amanda. Hey, hey, hey. hi to you too. Uh, hi, OJ. Hi, OJ. Hi, OJ. <laughs> That's what they always hate too. <laughs> well, I'm grateful for life and everything I have at the moment, even with the ups and downs, I'm thankful for. For if there's life, there's hope. 100. Tule, it took. Hashtag is slash on CBC. It, it, it wrote that? Yes, yeah, she did. Wow. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I feel like we have taught them from this on this show. <laughs> Give okay. them video. Still on Facebook, we have this one from Zugwaya Beatrice. I, I would like to know where you're from. Very interesting name. He says, I'm grateful to God for life, family, and all that he has done. And he's still doing. Man, I'm grateful for the life of someone so dear to me. Aww. Mm -hmm. So for good health as well and for everything, it's just been God. Hmm. She, see, when, ah. when, when we are done with all this gratitude, gratitude um, I just our, the account number will be scrolling on your screen. <laughs> if you want to pay in your tithe, you will... No, you, you can kindly stand up. How did they church? How did they say it in church? <laughs> the account number will be showing... church for a long time. Okay. That's why you don't know how they say it in yeah. church. Um, Obina <laughs> is saying something funny. Obina zero check was. He's saying, I'm grateful that the people who brought me into this world did not kill me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, are you that naughty or stubborn? Angu. Now they kill you. Angu. Well, okay, Angu. Angu. Well, let's, let's not go for that. Yeah. Mm. Allow me on Facebook says, I'm grateful for the gift of life. I'm grateful for me and I'm grateful to you. For you and you that is still breathing. Yeah. Happy Easter to you at OJ at Amanda Zara. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter to you too. Okay. Um, DC Savage says, God's grace upon my life. So, flawless bliss to say, I'm um, uh, sure say I know carry glass come to VC like this and I just the 10th person <laughs> come and come take it for this place I'm so sorry Mandy's yes. Mandy's Man tales <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, Desola Adesola says hey guys really enjoy your show what else can I be grateful for if not for the gift of life God has given and will continually give to us Hopefully, even through the pandemic, a lot has died, and my family and I are doing okay. Thanks be to God. Hashtag yeah. is flash and CBC. Very, very, Thank you very, very much. Hmm. Uh, Abu Bay OKK okay, says, Good afternoon, beautiful people. I'm grateful for life, and also I'm alive to witness this Easter. Also, it is my month. Oh, oh your birthday month. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday in, advance. in advance. And Ola Wumi, I think the last one we can take says, I'm grateful for the gift of life. I'm grateful for me, and I'm grateful for you, and that you are still breathing. That is so nice. Like she's grateful that we are breathing. Oh, so thank you very much. Thank you so much for being. We did not even do chess. Yeah, chess. Good life. Chess to you too, Ato. All right. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy celebration. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is OJ, and I did this alongside Amanda Dara. Is that what you sing it? Yeah, Amanda Dara. Have a lovely Easter Monday. Be safe out there. We love you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye. Testimonio, Mr. Jagger.